gonna get charged with, with resisting arrest if you keep it up. I ain't resisting nothing. You are. I'm already arrested. Then you're gonna Come get charged. Come on with that Then you ain't talking to no dumb. Uh, okay. You talk to a rich. Okay, that's, that's the problem. You ain't know right. me. So you're gonna hold still and stop moving Don't around. Don't worry about road. get your fucking paws off me. I'm not gonna move. Move. Your wife. You're not getting my hands off me, no, man. All right, well, if, if you keep moving around on me, I'm going to have to put you in a, in a wrist a lot. Hand yeah, get your hands off. All right. Look, I did that. What are you doing? Hold still. Oh, still, still. Hold still. Don't get mad if you weak. What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, you understand? Hold oh. still. Oh. Wow, I'm not resisting. Hold still. I'm not resisting. You're not resisting. You're jumping up and down on me. Do not move. Do you understand me? If you're familiar with my channel, you'll know that I do a lot of BUI investigation videos. And a vast majority of the time, I actually side with the officer's decision. But every now and then, I review a video that just doesn't sit right with me. So today, I'll be weaponizing my autism and pointing out several key moments and indiscrepancies I've noticed in the officer's report. You wanna, uh... Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. You wanna op you wanna uh, get us up there and I'll, we'll tie us off or you just want me to hook us up real quick? Inside the back up. How are y'all? Hey man. We're gonna tie up to you real quick and we'll talk to you in just a second. Just put it in neutral. Alright. No, just keep it in neutral for me, bud. I'll explain everything to you in just a second, alright? Let us get tied up. Alright, Captain. You guys from this area? No. No? Alright, where are you guys from? Okay, Alabama. All right, did they, uh, is this a rental? Yeah. Right, who'd you rent from? Uh, Gilligan's. What time did you guys rent it from? Uh, 10 to 6. 10 to 6? Yeah. Is something wrong? No, I'm just, I'll, I'll explain everything to you in just a second, all right? Um, did they give you, like, area familiarization, how to operate the vessel, where you can and can't operate? Yeah, they said don't go left because that's where the way is going. Stay right and stay around this area. Don't go too far out. Okay. All right, so this is an all-idle speed zone. You, idle speed is the is so the way the Coast Guard defines idle speed is the minimum speed required to maintain steerage of your vessel and while maintaining headway. So while maintaining your your, your speed. So if you want, look at that pontoon right there, that's actually not idle speed. It's a little faster. That oh, okay, that okay. blue boat right there looks like a cape. That one right there, that the fishing vessel. Blue boat? That little the baby blue boat. That's idle speed. So nice and so slow. So it be on two because it, it picks up. Yeah. So it's not a miles an hour. Uh, your throttle that you have to you have to control right. that throttle. Do I, put, do I go yeah. to his own two? Or so what? if you go the further you go down, the faster you're going to go. So you need to keep it within idle speed. So e each vessel is going to be different. I got two big 250s on the back of this. So my idle speed, if I push Can it the same direction, uh, I, I, I mean. They, I'm sure they went through the safety inspection. I can't teach you how to operate yeah, the vessel, well, but saying, just make sure I you keep it, on it slow. Two and you just pull me over, and it's on two. Yeah, so you were you, you guys. Were, it up right now, it's on two. Okay, like again, like I said, it's not a, a mile per hour thing. You guys were violating that speed, and that's why I'm pulling you over. Okay, so let's do a fast recap. I'm going to quote what the officer said in his report verbatim, and I'm going to warn you. It appears to be written by a third grader. As I was making the approach to the vessel, I observed Mr. P change positions, put one of the other occupants on the vessel. Officer Brooks verbally notated the change of operators on his assigned a body camera as Mr. P. what turned to the operator position behind the helm of the vessel. The vessel was continuing to violate the idle speed zone with Mr. P. as the operator. So after reviewing the footage, in slow motion, it appears that the man switched seats with this young man and took control of the vessel while it was actively violating the speed zone. And even after witnessing this, and including it in the report, they will continue to refer to this man as the captain, which is absolutely bananas. Generally, Water Patrol will note the captain from a distance, in the event that someone switches seats. But for some strange reason, these officers completely ignored the swap, and will continue to refer to the man as the captain of the vessel, knowing full well this young man is. Okay, I'm gonna start the video back up, but I want you guys to be very aware of something. The officer has already completed phase one of his BUI investigation, and he's using a speed violation as his probable cause to continue. All right, do you have a, a, license, a driver's license, Captain? Oh, I just need yours. Okay, you mind me getting this out? Yeah, go ahead. I'll give you hers back. Oh, yeah, I dropped it in the water. All right, and um, while we're uh, running this, do you mind showing me a fire extinguisher and a Type 4 throwable? I, can you can you get it for me? I just need to be able to, to see it, make sure it's in it's 
it's charged and ready to use. He just needs to see if he can calibrate it. Yeah, that's it. That's fine. You just turn it for me. All right. You see, it's in the green. That's good. That's what I need to see. All right. Are you? Who are you? A helper. Okay. Just help. You, you mind sitting down for me? That way I can. That way I can focus on one thing at a time. All right, ma'am, you can take a seat for me too. All right, Captain. Um, can you show me a noise-producing device such as a horn or whistle and a Type 4 throwable? Can I show you a noise-producing device? Yep, such as a horn or a whistle and a Type 4 throwable. Blow the horn. They didn't show us all that. They didn't do none of that. They just okay. gave us a little bit and got us on our way. They just gave you the boat and said yeah, took yeah, off? Yeah, like, okay. I promise you, bro, I ain't trying to throw it. All right, that's fine. And you, where'd you rent this from? From uh, Gilligan's. 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 Type 4 throwable. Well, that's Type 4 throwable. All right. Captain, can you uh, show me where the life jackets are? Did they show you where the life jackets were for everybody? Yep. Yeah, they got put out there. All right, can you show me one for everybody on board, please? All right, that looks like a child's uh, life jacket. Just, it should say adult on the back. That, that's an adult one. You can. That, well, I just need to see one for everybody on board. That was one. Do you know how many people you have on board? Yes, we do. We have seven. There should be 11 here altogether, they said. Okay. Yep, that's yes. good. That's good. Okay. All right. All right. Do you mind if I step board real quick? Yeah. Believe it or not, that was a pre sobriety test, which is called phase two, the face to face. And it started the moment the captain handed his license to the officer. The officer was sure to note in his report that the captain handed him his entire wallet instead of just his license. The officer then goes on to ask to see a fire extinguisher and a type four throwable, which most people would assume is a safety inspection, but it's not. This is a sobriety test. The officer is attempting to get the captain to exhibit signs of impairment, making him disconnect the fire extinguisher and requesting specifically the captain located type 4 throwable. The officer then asked the captain to show him all life jackets on the vessel, requiring the captain to get up and move around. And this is what the officer claimed to witness when he did that. I asked Mr. P to retrieve a life jacket for everybody on board. Mr. P moved towards the bow of the vessel, utilizing the helm and seats for balance with his hands. Mr. P held up one life jacket. Mr. Perry walked back to the helm of the vessel again, utilizing his hands on the seats and helm for balance. I'm not sure about you guys, but I don't think the man's movements were that of an impaired man. Using your hands to pull yourself out of a chair is reasonable for most people, as well as putting one hand on the seat while opening unfamiliar containers. The video segment ends with the officer asking permission to board the vessel, because he doesn't have authority to board the vessel, unless it's actively being used for fishing. Allowing officers to board your vessel only helps them build a stronger case against you. Move your little life raft here. How long you guys been out today? Ten. Uh, we got here about eleven o'clock. Eleven. All right. You guys just hanging out at the island? Yeah, that's it. Just here hanging, and then uh, actually our uh, time is up. We were just doing another run round uh, mm -hmm. the thing, and then go head back and turn it in and head back. Okay. And you, what time you guys say you rented it? 10. 10 o'clock? Our, right. our time leaves for 10. So what, time is you, what time do you have to have it back? 6. 6? Alright, you know what time it is? 4, 6. Alright, so you got plenty of time. We ain't gonna interrupt the, you guys going back at all. So, um, Do you mind? I, I'm just, I smell some alcohol coming off the boat. And I can see a couple of drinks. Have you had anything to drink today, Captain? Yeah, Captain has. <laughs> yes. All right. I, I gotta be honest. No, that's fine. That's fine. Do you mind if I check your eyes real quick? Okay, see you see if you're safe to operate? Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's is that good in the shade right there? Yeah. All right, just follow my hand, my uh, tip of my finger right here with your eyes only. Keep your head still, okay? You understand? I mean, like the boat rocking. Yeah, okay. that's okay. Let's go. Yeah, ready? My wife can drive. Yeah, I'm the second driver on the paperwork, too. Okay. I've had absolutely nothing to drink or anything. Can I put my glasses on, too? What? Oh, no, no, I got I to gotta check your eyes real quick. 
Bro, you gotta walk closer. I'm just getting a little closer so I can see your eyes better. So, I am seeing some signs of impairment. You mind doing some tasks for me? We can do them right here. You can sit down and do them. Can she just drive and it be done? Uh, that, that, well, let me, let, me, let me do this part first, okay? So, I am seeing some signs of impairment, all right? I'm just asking if you conduct uh, some simple tasks. You can do them seated right here just to dispel any fears of me thinking that you're intoxicated, all right? I think it's important to note a pretty significant error in the timeline of this report. Let me quote the officer. I asked Mr. P how long they were out today, and he stated his time was up on the vessel and they were headed back. I asked Mr. P what time he rented it, and he stated 10 to 6 p.m. I asked Mr. P what time it currently was, and he stated 4.10. As Mr. P was speaking to me, I observed his eyes were glassy and slightly bloodshot. Due to Mr. P lack of balance, glassy eyes, miscalculation of time, and inattention to the idle speed zone. I asked Mr. P if he had anything to drink. Mr. P stated, the captain has. I asked if I could board the vessel, and he stated yes. As I boarded the vessel, I asked Mr. P if I could check his eyes to ensure he could drive the vessel home safely. Due to the details of this narrative, it's obvious that the officer reviewed his body cam while making this report, but he mixed around how the events actually unfolded. I believe that the officer mixed these events around because he's attempting to justify boarding the vessel before having sufficient evidence. And as this investigation unfolds, you'll start to see why I'm picking it apart. I promise you. I'm going to be skipping past the HDN test because it's boring. And the officers always claim to see the same things. I need you to make a fist with both hands. Can you go ahead and scoot back up for me where you were? Scoot back up in the front edge of your seat. Are you trying to find a reason to no, I'm arrest just, me or something, bro? So, she is the okay. other signal. She right. can just drive and go. I understand. Are you trying to find a reason to send me to no, jail? Uh, listen, I'm what just What is trying wrong, to, bro? Can I explain it to you? God right. damn. Listen. So what these, is all this? These, okay. these are standardized tests, okay? These are standardized tasks. They have to be done a certain way, all right? And that the people. All right. So, so you can call Tesla the VA. I'm fucked. All right, I'm, I'm not trying to get you. I'm about to no. try to drive this shit. Okay, well, I'm just talking to you right now. Okay, just me and you talking right now. All right. Damn. All right. No, hang on. Let me let me talk to him. All right. So this next task, okay, I need you to make a fist with both hands. Extend your index fingers out. Turn your palms forward. It's gonna look like this. Fist with both hands. Index fingers out. Palms forward, just like that. If you can get them off your knees for me, just kind of put them by your side. What's up? If you just get them off your knees for me by your side. All right, you, you kind of scoot it back, man. I need you to sit at the front edge of the seat, okay? I'm, I'm, I just, they're, they're standardized tasks. They're, they're meant to be done a certain way. They have to be done the same way every time, all right? So, okay, stay in this position until I explain the rest of the task. You understand? You understand? Okay. When I say begin, you're going to tilt your head back at a 45-degree angle and close your eyes. This is a 45-degree angle. You're going to close your eyes, okay? When I tell you to touch the tip of your nose with the tip of your finger, immediately return it to your side. So this is going to be the tip of your finger right here, okay? That's the pad of your finger. This is the sides of your finger, so the tip of your finger right there. This is going to represent your nose, not the bridge of your nose, underneath your nose, or where your nostrils are, the tip of your nose. So the tip of your finger with the tip of your nose. Do you understand that? Come on, right here. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Can you show that? Can you, can you show me? Where are you going, man? No, what you show me. Show me how to do it. All right, I'm going to demonstrate it right here. show me how to do it. I'm going to demonstrate it for you, man. That I should never ask a man to do nothing that he would never do. I'm going to, I'm going to do, it. do it. I'm going to do it for you right here. To right. Show me so that I understand right. Okay, can you so I want you to show me the correct way to do it, right. and then I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna do it. Okay, so can you sit down? Just no, sir. All right, so you're getting you're getting amped up for no reason, man. I'm just trying I'm, to. Talk I'm to getting you. amped up because y'all picking with me. I'm not picking. My with wife you. here can drive, okay. and y'all know that. But y'all right. want to just stay here with me right, until listen. you find a reason to with me. I'm not. Listen to me. Can you please show me how to do I, this? I just showed you. I'm gonna show you again if you sit so down. So sit down the way you want me to sit down. Okay. And then show me. Well, you're getting irate well, with me. If you man to know his rights, brother. Okay. You please show me that. If you sit down, I'll show you on the side of the you seat. You must you provide a demonstration. I, 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 if you sit down, I'll show you. Okay? All right? He must with the right one. All right? Record this. You, you, you can record it. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. No, just. Me. I'm going to show you, okay? So can you stay here for me and just stay getting up and irate? It's. I just don't need any jumping around, right? You got to respect me just I'm trying to respect you, okay? That real? Let me. Listen to me. I'm going to show you, okay? This is the, this is the front end of your seat. So you see how my, my butt's not way back? See how my feet are shoulder width apart? Boom. Just like that. Okay? And then this is what. All right. So remember, make a fist with both fingers, both hands, and extend your index fingers out. Just like that. I need you to remain in this position while I explain the task. All right? So when I tell you to begin, you're going to tilt your head back at a 45 degree angle and close your eyes. This is a 45 degree angle and you're going to close your eyes. All right? When I tell you to touch the tip of your nose. With a demonstration? When I tell you to touch the tip of your nose with the tip of your finger. 
when I tell you to touch the tip of your nose with the tip of your index finger, immediately return it to your side, okay? So this is going to be the tip of your finger right here. The tip of your nose right here. When I say right, you must touch the right index finger to your nose. When I say left, you must touch the left index finger to your nose. Do you understand? Okay. All right, you may begin. No, I want you to show me though. If you I need right, demonstration. If you, if you say right hand, right hand. You have to show me a demonstration right. by law. Okay, so I. So show me a demonstration. If you turn your head 45 and going straight to the tip of your nose. Okay. Just go ahead and uh, record this. So I show me so I we can see if you draw. I demonstrated it. No, you did not demonstrate. Okay. You never tipped your head and you ain't touched your nose. You All put right. your glasses on. I put it in because the sun. No, sir. Here. I don't have on glasses. Pass me my glasses. All right. So. Because the demonstration. The demonstration says you got on glasses. So okay. show me, sir. Okay. Let's go. You want to keep your glasses on right here? Go ahead. Okay. If you ready to begin? Oh, wait, no, you showed me how to do it. I, I showed you the task, so. You have not right. showed me the task. So, right hand, I'm gonna, right I said begin, okay, so you may begin. Sir, can you please show me exactly how you want me to do this? Left. Show me. Left hand. Show me. Hey, look, listen, if we got somebody else to drive the boat, can you just drive the boat? Are you not going to do the task? Yes. All right, I'll tell you what. Hey, listen, listen. Yeah, I, 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 I prefer you guys not to try to interrupt them, okay? All right, I just don't want you guys to interrupt them. No, I'm asking you. All right, so I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm calling By the law, sir, you're supposed to show me what you want me to do. And I just demonstrated You that. did not do this thing, so okay. show me. All right. Are you gonna Are you gonna do the task? Yes or no? I'm gonna do the task. All right. But you gotta show me what you want me to do. I just I need you to show me. I don't okay. understand. All right. So I ain't even graduate high school. Can you All right. please show me? All right. So left hand. Can you show me? You want me to repeat the task? For I need you? demonstration. You want me to repeat the task? I for need you? demonstration. All right. So I can, I demonstrated it. it no, you didn't. Task. You didn't demonstrate okay. nothing. All you did was hold your hand. Back. Right. Do I so need this? All you did? Do I need to demonstrate you putting your finger to your yeah, nose? I need you to demonstrate well, the whole process. I, you want? I, just, I need the forty-five and this, and I right. need this, and that's that's what okay, I need. I just demonstrated the finger. I need nose. you to do this, and I need you to do this for me. All right. So you're not going to do that test. We'll move on to the next one. I did that test. Okay. I asked for a demonstration, so I'm doing it right. right. You can't say I denied the test. I asked right. you to demonstrate, and you didn't demonstrate. Okay, so I'm not going to demonstrate the entire task. So that means that you can't say that I did not do the test. All right. So I asked for a demonstration. All right. Do you want to attempt to, to do the task, yes or no? I want you to show me how to do the test. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to repeat it to you, okay? No. I'm going to repeat it. Show me how to do the test. I don't show you the, the entire task. That's not how it works. So how do y'all expect people to understand? Because I've read these instructions to you. And people are supposed to understand so it's that. A, it's a standardized test. Why are you pointing at this and you're knuckling and all this? I'm supposed to just understand that. Do you not understand? I can repeat it for you if you don't. I'm trying to give you the benefit if of the you, doubt. It's so much easier if you just show me what you want me to do. Right. I can do it. So Why I can can't show, you just show me? I can repeat it and show it to you, okay? Okay. You want me to do it? You want me to repeat it to you? Then show right. it to me. Okay. All right. All right. No, no. Don't so, repeat it. So listen. Show it. I got to read these instructions. They're standardized for a reason. They're done the same way to everybody. Sir, can you, I, can I you show me I can't demonstrate the entire task once I've, once I've read it. I Sir, shouldn't have to. Sir, your camera watching you knows that yes. you're supposed to show me okay. what I'm supposed to do. All right. Can you please go and get that over with so right. we can go and buy a date? I've, I've showed you several times with your finger. No, you, you have know, not demonstrated. Like Okay. Ask a question, ask all right. No, I'm going to talk to him first, man, all right? So we're just going to move on to the next task, all right? Until now, I've yet to see an officer administer these tests on the captain's vessel. Generally, the officers will request the captain to board the patrol vessel first. And in some cases, I've even seen officers untie from the boat and conduct the test out of view of the other occupants. The test we just witnessed was the finger-to-nose test, and it's one out of three tests designed to test cognitive abilities of the operator. And I assure you, a sober person can fail this if they're not following directions. Since this man did not comply, the officer essentially failed him with flying colors. I need you to place your hands palm to palm with one hand up and one hand down. It's going to look just like this. I'm demonstrating it, okay? One hand up, one hand, one hand down like this. Okay? Uh, yeah, the one you okay. demonstrate, that's what I'm going to do. I'm okay. going to do it just like you. Now let's go. Do, okay, what well, we well, well, sit down for me, okay? All right? I'm standing up so, I get a better, so you get a better view of it, okay? So right. one hand up, one hand down, just like this. Remain in this position while I explain the rest of the task. You understand? Okay. All right? All right. All right, go ahead and sit back no, down. No, you said me. remain in this position. You were right. standing up, I'm standing up. All right, remain so, in this position. All right, sit down, I'll sit down, all right, if that makes you feel better. Show me again. All right, I'm sorry, sit, sir. Sit down, because I'm you not going to You make my day harder, make your day harder. Go, go ahead and sit we down. We're going to do it together then. We're going to do it together. Well, we sit can down. ride all day. All right, sit down for me, all right? I ain't got nothing to do. All right, look, sit down. I'm sitting down right here. You're picking with me, bro. I'm not picking, I'm trying to talk you to you. You are picking with me, bro. I'm trying to talk to you, okay? Not doing nothing wrong. All right, one hand up, one hand down, just like this. Let's do it together. All right, remain in this position while I explain the rest of the task. You understand? All right. I have to let go of this to grab this piece of paper to read it. Remain in this position. 
When I tell you to begin, turn the top hand over, count out loud one, turn the hand back over, count out loud two, counting only when the hands make contact. Show me. It's going to look like this. What the fuck you talking about? It's going to look like this. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay. Okay? All right. I can do that. Okay, hang on. Repeat this. Speed up as you go. Do not stop until told. Make sure you keep your hands and fingers parallel during each pat. <coughs> So this is parallel, not this, any variation of this, okay? So when you turn it over, that's parallel. Do you understand? Okay, I see what you're doing. Do you right. understand? Now hang on, don't start yet. Do you understand? Do you understand the task? Do you understand it? Okay. You said count as I do this, right? Yeah, when I say begin. Okay. Okay? So you, you may begin. All right, so one, two. Okay. One. Two. Okay. One. You got to speed up for me, okay? Two. You didn't speed up. All right. One. Two. One. Two. One. I don't know, but we can't fall, y'all. Yeah, we can. Can we scoot over some? Two. Two. One. Two. I'm supposed to keep going? Please. Right, until I tell you to stop. Oh, shit. Sure. We're going back over there. Yeah, can we just... We're going back over there. You got to gotta speed up for me, though, okay? One. Okay, you can stop. That's good. You can stop there. You can relax. I just want to say, I believe that the operator could have passed all of these tests had he not been so difficult. He failed this test because he did not increase the speed as instructed, and he rolled his hands, and then he stopped before he was told to do so. Next thing we're going to watch is the hand coordination test, which is, in my opinion, designed to show impairment. So it's the last task, okay? I need you to make a fist with both hands. Place your left fist at the center of your chest, your right fist against your left fist. It's going to look just like this. Fist with both hands, left fist against chest, right fist against left fist. All right. Okay? Can I, let me put that yep. on. Yep. I can do how you do it. Yep. <laughs> fist with both hands. Let me put that on. Okay, fist with both hands. I'm not doing that. Let me put your best on. Left fist, right fist. Y'all find somebody else to talk to about that shit, but I'm dead serious and I stand on that. Let okay. me put that shit on and I'll do it the way you do it. I can't let you put well, my best on. Well, then you ain't showing me. All right, so you're I want you to show me. You're refusing to do the task? I'm not refusing nothing. I asked okay. you to show me the way you're doing it. Okay. So let me put that on. You're asking for me to put, you to put on my, my bulletproof vest? That's how you're my... doing it. Okay. I asked you to show me. That's not you happening. You're holding yours out here. No, I'm not. And you're leaning on Okay. So I don't know what you're trying to ask me to do, sir. All right. So listen. I'll I'm tell gonna... you what. Show me the answer, sir. Okay. You, you calm down for me? You should make a fist with both hands. Place your left fist in your chest. Right fist against your left fist. Let me make fist with both hands. All right, left fist against chest. Left fist against chest. Okay, right fist against left fist. All right, remain in this position while I explain the rest of the task. You understand? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to let go. You can stay there. First task is to count out loud from one to four while you move your fist in a step like fashion, making contact with the fist at each step. It's going to look like this one, two, three, four. Not yet. Not, oh, hang on. Okay. Four, five, second, six, seven, eight. Second task eight. is to memorize the position of your fist. After you count to four, clap your hands three times and return your fist to the memorized so position. I thought it was three. So do one, switch it. All right, listen, there's, there's more. Hold on, show me again. The third task is to move your fist in a step like fashion in reverse order, counting aloud from five to eight, returning your left fist to your chest. Wait, what? Five, six, seven, eight. So just do that? Fourth task is to open your hands, palms down, and place them in your lap. Wait, wait, time out. Hold on, you gonna take three sobriety? Bro, you gonna make me do a combo of four? Okay. Can you, can you show me how to do it? Bro, you I, I just did. Wait, so... Are you ready to begin? I get it. You gonna take three sobriety? Show me one more time. You want me to do it again? Show me one more time. Okay. So you need to make a fist with both both hands. Place your left fist against your chest, your right fist against your left fist. Can I just get a fat just like, ass ticket in? Just like this. Okay. Okay, you said do left fist against chest. Left against chest. Right, right fist against left right. fist. Yep. Remain in that position while okay. I explain the task. And then you said go to eight. Yep. When I say begin, you're going to perform four tasks. First task is count loud from one to four while you move your fist in a step like fashion, making contact between your fists at each step. One, two, three, four. So go out like this. Second task, going toward you. Second task okay. is to memorize the position of your fist. After you count to four, clap your hands three times and return your fist to the memorized position. All right, so when I get the one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
Okay. Third task is move your fist in a step-like fashion in reverse order, counting allow from five to eight, returning your left fist to your chest. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's go. Fourth, fourth task is to open your hands, palms down, and place them in your lap. Okay. You understand? Bro, that's like remember a dance routine, man. Are you serious? Did you understand the task? All right, let me, can I ask you, can I, can I verify before I try this? I, you, I mean, you, you understand the task right, or not? So you understand the task? Against, I'm asking you, can okay. I verify before you can I verify this. You ask me a fucking dance routine, bro. All right. Now so, some patience. Okay. On, Left hand, are you ready? Okay, then, no, I'm asking to verify. I, I can't help you. If you understand the task, you do the task. If not, you don't do the task. You ain't working for Michael Jackson. You don't get one chance. <laughs> Give me another chance, bro. You want another chance? Hold on. Okay. I can only repeat it. This is the I'll last time what. I can repeat it. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. You ready? You ready? I'm ready if you're ready. You may begin. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. You not doing right, bro? Please, man. I'm about to All right. So I need you to stand up for me, okay? I'm going to explain this to you. I'm going I'm to tell you one time, all right? And you just stand up and put your hands behind your back, okay? You're being placed under arrest for burning air influence, all right? So stand, uh, stand there. Listen to me. I'm not going to tell you again. Don't don't scroll around me. Just hold still. Let me cuff you up, all right? You hear me? What are you doing? Keep your hand right there. What? Why is he doing that? We came for one day on vacation. He can do nothing. I'm a driver. Stay there. I'm black. Shut up. It don't matter. Man, okay. he would do it right or wrong. I mean, saw the white girl that you pulled out in front with. All right, do you have anything in your pocket, Everybody sir? Don't like to. Do you have any? I'm gonna pat you down, and make sure you have anything in your pockets. All right. Oh, bro, I'm here for all my right. family. Okay, that's cool. Just making sure there's nothing gonna poke me, prime or anything like that. Go ahead and go ahead and spread your legs for me. Go ahead and spread your legs for me. You don't do the breathalyzer test. Y'all have an opportunity to do it. No, do it here. Honestly, his wife has a good point. Why don't they do a breathalyzer test? I've actually only seen one officer pull out a PBT, and that was only after the man was doing well on SFSTs. Wow, I'm not drunk, bro. He is no drunk. He had a drink. He is no drunk. And I don't pass all them bullshit tests, bro. Oh, Take okay. me to jail for this shit. up. All right, we're going to go over this boat over here, all right? Watch Nobody your head. Watch your head. Nobody go the Step down. Step down. Right, go in the front of the boat. Fuck, bro. Like I said before, officers generally do these tests on their patrol vessel, which not only offers them a bit of privacy, but also enables them to put a life jacket on the operator ahead of time, before they handcuff them. I'm actually certain it's policy that they do this. So, if this man drowned right now, it would be on the officers. Hold up, don't sit down yet. Watch your feet. Watch bro, I can feet. swing a marine, bro. I don't need that damn floating. Alright, turn around. Sit down. Retard ass, folks. Sit down. Boring ass. No pussy getting motherfucker. Sit down. Stay right there. He just had the heart to tell he has PTSD. He the wasn't floor. driving. He was the one operating the vessel. If she had been driving, none of this would have been a problem. But she wasn't. We witnessed him driving the vessel. Oh, y'all gonna sit here and smile sit. doing this shit. I'm not smiling, you're not, so just stay here, okay? Bro, you know that's you know that's fine, bro. Slow, slow down. I just want to enjoy myself like that. Slow down. No, we're good. And so the reason why they came over here is because you were yelling, screaming. You got their attention over here too. We got multiple boats out here, right, man? So they want to come over and make sure we're gonna. No, we ain't having fun. That ain't fun. Who was yelling and screaming? You, you were yelling and screaming. Bro. Do you not understand what you accusing me of? Yelling and screaming? You thinking I may get it? I'm thinking I may have an accident. I fuck for this fucking country. I but you gonna take that. me to jail for thinking I may get in a fucking accident? Yes, sir. In open water with nobody around? There's nobody around? Bro, that's weird as fuck. That lie, bro. Come on, bro. Do you see all the boats out that's here? That's a lie. Okay. I wasn't around all that shit. Stop lying, nigga. Okay. We got video. All right. I just pulled out. I didn't even drive in. The reason why I'm arresting you is for boating under the influence. Despite what you may think, I do care about your safety and your operation and everybody else is out here. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. So we've had, lying, we've had multiple you did that out here. A nigga. That's not why I did it. You're a motherfucking liar. Alright, I'm sorry you feel that I way. Because I just saw your ass with the motherfucking white girls over there. The 
Okay. Well, never white girl, y'all flirting and everything. You know, bitches were drinking. I think it's really funny that these officers keep saying they observed him driving and justifying his arrest as a safety concern, knowing full well he wasn't the original driver. I mean, if this all took place in a car and a traffic cop witnessed the driver switch seats while the car was coming to a stop, who do you think would have gotten arrested? Hey, y'all see what nigga going to do? Hey, Sam, stay in the seat. Look at that right? shit. Stay in the hey, seat. Hey, record this shit. Stay in the seat for me, all right? I don't need you getting up and falling down. I don't want to tell everybody. This bullshit. You, you can tell everybody you want, but you're going to stay seated, all right? You going to do that for me? What? You can tell. Oh, you, you can scream on top of your lungs. Nigga, you just said I'm drunk. You can scream on top of your lungs, yeah, but I don't want you standing up and falling overboard in the water, all right? Up, you put me in handcuffs before you did a goddamn breathalyzer. I'm not drunk. I ain't got to take nothing up. But since okay. you decide you want to decide to arrest me and say I'm drunk, okay. don't worry, I got good lawyer. Okay. I'm yeah, we finna have fun with your motherfucking ass, nigga. Okay. I'm going to let you know that. I, I'm, I'm glad you got a good lawyer. Get your I'm, I'm gonna hold you because you stood up. Where I'm gonna go? jump over the I don't want you to jump overboard. You're getting irate and you're getting yelling and everything. I don't want you jumping over. Because you know this is stupid shit. No, I don't. I know for a fact I made a good arrest. <laughs> you're gonna get charged with, with resisting arrest if you keep it up. I ain't resisting nothing. You are. I'm already arrested. Then you're gonna Come get on with that bullshit. With... Nigga, you ain't talking to no dumb nigga. Uh, okay, then. You're talking to a rich nigga. nigga. Okay, that's, that's the problem. You ain't right. know me. So you're gonna hold still and stop moving don't around. Don't worry about shit. Get your Get paws off me. Look I'm at not gonna move. Your wife. You're not getting my hands off me, man. All right, well, if, if you keep moving around on me, I'm gonna have to put you in a, in a wrist a lot. Yeah, get your hands off. Me. All right. Look, I ain't doing that. What are you doing? Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. Hold still. You're getting back if you're weak. What are you doing? Oh, you understand? Hold oh. still. Wow, I'm not resisting. Hold still. I'm not resisting. You're not resisting. You're jumping up and down on me. Do not move. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Oh, that's Do not move. Bro, that's fucked up. Do you understand? Are you going to remain calm? I'm calm, bro. No, you ain't. It was so tough while I'm locked up and slammed me, so my shoulder fucked up. Okay. I was weak earlier than I'm not too tough, so whatever you want to say. That's why you mad. I'm not mad. Yes, you are. Do I sound mad? You just got, you, you did, that's why you slammed me down where they can see, nigga. Okay. Stop playing, bro. Take my a seat. He slammed me on my shoulder, Take bro. Take a seat backwards. Bro. Stay right there. See what I'm saying? Stay right there. So you, for what? Listen so, to me. Listen. At the hall, bro, you Stay break there. my goddamn shoulder. Slam me. Stay there. I'm not requesting you. Smell no, I ain't taking nothing, and you ain't violating and saying I did nothing. No, sir. All right, so you're not taking the test? No. So if you refuse to submit this test I requested, you will result in civil penalty of $500. Additionally, if you refuse to submit this test, you're not taking the test. Just go ahead and do what you got to do. I'm not I taking the test. You, so listen. And then what I'm going to do? And I want to file right. on you. Yes, you can file on me if you want. So is this video going out of uh, out the window too? Or just when you slam me, they go out the window? Because like, you know, I'm going straight to the dock. I'm a VA guy. A rep, they go, no, I, I was just there. You should have did your background before you slam me. Well, no, couldn't nobody see that shit. They go, no, something been wrong. You knocked my goddamn shoulder out of place. And you going to sit there and tell me you can't talk to me? But you slam me? Y'all ain't fooling no damn body, man. I'm all, look at my knee. How that happen? Look at that. Get that camera. Look. Look at that blood. Now, how I get that if I'm on a boat? Now, look at my neck. Look at that. 43, 34. Tough guy, what was the real reason you slammed me, though? Tell them the truth. Tell them the real reason. Uh, the one tough guy. Why you slam me, tough guy? Tough guy, we got plenty of video with you talking on it. But you quiet now, tough guy. Tough guy, I'm trying to be quiet now. Bro, this shit ain't gonna work. The real footage is on that goddamn, all them goddamn iPhones that was around your ass. Did somebody cheat on you or something, tough guy? You just had outbursts or something, tough guy? End of the month, you gotta meet your quota, tough guy. <laughs> hey, did you forget how hard you slammed me, sir? Mr. Um, tough guy? You trying to find some way to get me in trouble because you in trouble. Let me tell you something. Keep digging a hole. Sir, listen to me. You I'm can listen. If there's something broke, then you're just going to be charged with Sir, listen to me. Now, all I said, I swiped my knee, and that little plastic ass steel y'all got Sounds popped like out. Anyway. Cameras on, huh? All that evidence. Oh, I got up under your skin, or did I get up under your bulletproof vest? You Nigga, yeah, on. you ain't tough no more. See, that's why I've been keeping the camera for this for you, sir. You're smiling at You weren't so tough. That's why you slept on my shoulder, huh?
What's going on with Sean? Well, it's, it don't matter. Well, it's, I'm going to get out. Just put it where y'all going to put me, and I'm going to let my lawyer get it. Your shoulder's okay? Sir, shoulder's I didn't okay. never say my shoulder's okay. You sat here. Talk I to told the nurse you. if you want to talk to her. This is your chance. What is? God, can y'all let somebody converse? I told him this shoulder was hurt. He sat here and pulled out on it. And they going to sit here and tell me I got to be respectful about how you treated me, bro. But I'll be mistreated. Complaining about blood on your knees, I don't see any of that, so. Oh, don't, oh, no, don't be trying to get your camera footage. <laughs> just see? Just let you know he's scared. See that? Just, I'm just if following some complaints he has. If he was scared, he wouldn't even try to get no camera footage. Yeah. yeah Tell me for what you did to another nigga. That, that, but see what you thought it was. You don't know me because they ain't blew up yet. And when I said Dave Chappelle, you thought I was bullshit. You slammed me while okay. I was sitting down. Your blood pressure. With, your blood behind my back. You pick me up and slam me. For nothing. Not Ain't for nothing me. I can do to you sitting down with handcuffs on. Okay. You pick me up and slam me. That's how the knee got like that. That's how the shoulder got like this. Okay, so in the end, the man was charged with operating a vessel while normal faculties impaired, refusal to submit to a blood breath test, and resisting arrest without violence. Hopefully this man is true to his word and he lawyers up, as I believe he's got a fighting chance of getting these charges dropped. And if you guys liked today's video, let me know in the comments. And if you're not already subscribed, I'd love if you did.